Hello, how are you doing? I'm Ibrahim Rukwe by name. Yes, my planet farms FCT Abuja, Nigeria. Most of the time, people ask what is my planet all about. My planet is a group of company that is into various kind of um, business system. And here today we are in our farm. You can see um, we are picking our eggs. It's interesting to pick eggs and make money from eggs, but it goes beyond just picking eggs. It goes beyond having a poultry farm where you can pick eggs and um, do so many things one thing about poultry it goes beyond um, having money to say i want to have a poultry farm or i really want to do a poultry or run a poultry business there are key things you need to understand when setting up your poultry business number one is location have a good location for your poultry business go a long way to understand how it will work for you and after getting your location, ensure your beds. Like you see our beds now, they are on, we kept them on battery cage. Battery cage remain one of the best way to preserve and um, give your beds good heady system from time to time. Because in this battery cage, they, are no, they cannot transmit disease because of the battery cage. Yeah. So what we did in our own system here to make it more effective and efficient is we name our battery cage by numbers because in poultry, in poultry, data collection is very key. You must be able to first understand the data you generate from your poultry farms. Like what we did in our own, come let me show you. Like what we did in our poultry, in our farm here is this. We labeled our, our cages A1, B, C, E, F, G, H down there. So let me show you something again. Here is A. This is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and A6. So what we did is that because these bears are into compartments. So you can be able to, from time to time, determine which bear is not producing very well. So that is that for your battery cage to enable you to do that. And ensure one other thing to do is you need to have an effective water system so that they don't get dehydrated at time. These bears, they eat and drink and they drink a lot of water. So your water system must be very, very effective if you really do want to have it. And also feeding is very key. Like here now, you can see this is the food we give to them. They consume minimum three bags of this uh, feed, three bags of this feed every day. Why? Because it's like, um, it's garbage in, garbage out. It's what you give to them, they'll give back to you. Most people tell you to economize your food, don't give them that. Come, let me show you something here now. Like, now this is a feeding process we are doing right now. You can see what we do. Once you give them this feed, you see then they tend to want to get it. So you can see the, this is what you do here. You must ensure you feed them very well. These are my team members, Shedrag by name, and this is Siva by name. They are doing the feeding aspect this time around. So let me show you. And one other thing you need to do, but ensure you have a good water system in your farm. It's very important because you don't need, you're supposed to have, you need to have a good water system in your farm. It's very key because if not, the bed will be diarrhated. And let me show you something again. Like here now, you can see these eggs, to make them more like this, they need a lot of calcium. Calcium is very important when you are giving these beds feed from time to time. Come, let me show you. So, one thing you must understand is this. Like here. Come, let me show you something. Come around here. Oh, shit. This is the battery cage. This is where we put them. You could see, what makes here okay is that this is how the cage is. You, your uh, farm must be free from odor. The moment you ha your farm has odor, it's bad. It's not good for your beds. It's not good for your staffs. So you must ensure, see something here now. Like here now, you could see some, like, from time to time you can be able to monitor how their um, excreta is. Once you see anything that is watery of this type, you need to deworm them. In most cases, you must ensure you deworm your bed. Then these an IG feeds. So when it's like this, meaning they are okay. But when you see something like, uh, 
um, all this wet one it shows that you need to watch out for in case if there's anything that is not going well and also you can see beneath here is very clean this where everything pour out from i can stay here it does not smell why because this sun dust that we use here we change it every four four days three days four days we normally change this sun dust why because if you don't change this thing on time it gets soaked with water and the feces or excreta they pour out and the next thing it affects your bed the head of your head bed productivity so this um, for our farm today and you can see for the other side the uh, one most for are after is after the egg picking they after let the bed start laying let me get my money back but you must put some things in place it's very important putting some things in place when it comes to when it comes to uh, poultry farming is very okay for you to do like here you could see my team member is picking uh, their eggs here this is another row of this is another row of them picking so these are one of the major things you need to understand when you are starting your poultry business data is very important your sales day book is very important how much are you selling a day you must be intentional enough to understand your sales day book your purchasing day book what are those items you are purchasing like giving them vaccination giving them medicine from time to time you need to record them that if you have any debt write it down what are the cost of debt some of these birds died when they are trying to lay so far in our farm this month we've lost four beds and each bed here worth a thousand eight hundred and fifteen era one bed here is what we call but at the point of lay so let me come around apart from picking egg as if you are picking money from the street or from the floor or from the tree it's very important that you understand that it's not just about the egg part of it but it's about giving value and nutrition to everything so this is for our farm here today and all that thing i would love to show you quickly is that ensure you have an effective management system on ground like here now this is our books for record this is our production book for our eggs we can yeah we are able to tell how many eggs how many um, bears we have in this cage we name it see something here we have wing two this wing two we have wing one wing two in each wing we have a b c d e f down which enable them will enable us get accurate data from time to time then here we do something again here this is the egg we picked for today and we are still picking like we have how many crates here one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and you can see they are still picking more eggs now this is the benefit of you feeding your birds very well feed them very well give them good hygiene and one good thing we did in our farm here is this for accurate data um, processing we have this blue um, crate this blue crate is used only like you see my team member is dropping more of the eggs here so this blue this blue crate is used for um, picking the eggs from time to time so that to enable have good record that is for this blue um, no sorry purple crate i mean to say then why here we have these crates in our internal management system this yellow crate is used for sales so when we bring this crate out we know that it's for sales only then why this green crate is used for storage because the production is the purple crate which is used for picking the egg the green ones are used for storage why this yellow one are used for sales why because in most cases you never can tell the farms that all the buyers are taking their crates to so it's dangerous to your farm dangerous to your beds to uh, allow your buyers bring in crates into your farm why we always advise or advise people during our training session don't allow buyers bringing train and um, crates into your farms because these beds are highly um, sensitive to diseases they are highly sensitive to infection so that is why in our farm now when you come in where you have you call you want to buy egg how many are you getting we sell minimum of 20 we don't sell less than 20 we prepare it for you in this yellow crate and when you come we transfer it to you and wash this immediately because this is how because they say prevention is better than cure 
So for this, this is what we do in Smart Planet Farms for our layers. Subsequent videos, we're talking, we're taking you on our um, boilers. We have boilers farm, we have Noelas, we have um, Turkey also. So thank you very much. If you want to be part of what we do, visit our website www.smartplanetfarms.com www.smartplanetfarms.com or www.smartplanetf.com So I applaud you to be part of what we do. Come around if you want trainings. We have training program for you. We can teach you how to manage your farm. We can teach you how to produce your feed. Because here in Smart Planet, before now we used to buy feed on a very high um, um, price, which is the market um, price. But we discovered that producing your feed is way, 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 way more better and economical than what you can think. Because before now, you could see our eggs, how the eggs look like now. The calcium we put in this egg goes a long way to play in them. And also, solar system, light is very important. You could see, we have an infective light system here, which we use solar for. Because in most cases, this bed, because in most cases, this bed need light to eat at night. And you can't keep buying, uh, um, well, I call it um, light or this. So solar is one of the fastest way to power this kind of system. But if you have your own electricity in your own farm, good and fine. But in all you do, ensure you cut costs, but give quality. It's very important. So thank you very much. Remember to visit our website again, www.sampanetf.com for more details. So have a nice day. Bye.